Hey, what's up, Yoda Force? It's Randy with KC. I'm the Marketing Activation Manager, and this is my Toyota Corolla 1989 AE92. So this is just a custom bumper that was kind of based on the rendering that we actually got from Stevo Design, which is actually Hype Track. Um, so when I got the, uh, the actual rendering, he actually did this. It's based off of a DOM um, kind of tube. And then what we did was we tied it into the actual chassis itself, um, honed out holes to it, and welded it all together and put this little baby winch from the UTV. Um, and then after that, we put our Flex Era 4s on it. So, yeah. But other than that, I mean, yeah, we did bend it ourselves and it was just literally a garage build. Um, and this is where it's at. I mean, it could be better, but hey, <laughs> it works. That's amazing. <laughs> What's under the hood? So, this thing, was originally supposed to be a 30 day kind of project. So it's a 4AGE on top. But the trick is to make this all wheel drive, I basically changed the housing of it after I rebuilt the top. I took the 4AFE from a Toyota all track wagon and I basically took the transaxle and transfer case and put it all together. There is a custom flywheel as well as a clutch that married it all together because otherwise it wouldn't have worked. So now it's hooked up with a drive shaft all the way to the back and it's rear wheel drive, but then I could do a locker and then it's now all wheel drive. So yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. I mean, it took a while. It took us like three months instead of 30 days, but yeah. Then after that, we boosted it up with a red top stinger battery because there's a heck of a lot more power that <laughs> I need for this thing. So, I mean, essentially I wanted to build it as like a rally overland rig really. So, um, and I do want to um, actually run it in Nora 1000 in 2023, um, but the safari class, all right? Nothing crazy. I mean, I'm not trying to go fast. I'm trying to go long and endurance. Just trying to make it, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, essentially it is a safari B class um, throwback from the eighties and nineties, yeah. So what suspension are you rocking on this thing? So we have dual rated springs all the way around. Um, so we work with Eibach as well as Bilstein. So what we did was I took a 99 RAV4, changed it around a little bit, put an in inverted monotube, which is Bilstein, and then basically put like a coil over uh, with the dual springs on it. Uh, and it, it, it's a 99 updated or leveled up um, strut, if you will. And what snorkel do you have on it? So, so this snorkel, when uh, we looked at the rendering, we're like, all right, what, what, what's going to look good? This actually came from an XJ. <laughs> so we, repurs we repurposed it, chopped it, honed out a hole for it. It actually does work into the air system. Um, now we do have to seal it more properly um, when we actually run it. But yeah, this actually works. It's an XJ. Um, cut it up to make it look, you know, proportionate. Awesome. <laughs> so cool. Let me fix it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so what wheels and tires do you have on it? So it's a basically a race line um, that I put on there. I did have to change it out. It was originally like a, a black kind of satin look. So then I got it uh, repowdered and finished um, to make it the chrome. So essentially this whole entire rendering, I tried to mimic that rendering from Stevo Designs basically. So I changed that out. I'm running KO2s on this. It's roughly, I think, a 27 inch tire. Um, you know, you could look at the specs. It's actually all on our website, caseyhighlights.com actually. So anyway, um, that's what I did. The travel in the front is roughly about seven, eight inches. Okay. Um, of travel, if you will. I haven't jumped it yet, but I want to in the future soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, continuing on, like how we actually talked about the suspension itself. So the rear itself is roughly about uh, 11 to 12 inches of travel itself. Yeah. And then the roof rack, that has a story itself. So after I was done with the all wheel drive conversion, I was like, all right, I got to do the rest of the suspension. So what better person to work with, right? If I needed a four link, I took it to a trophy truck builder. There you go. Uh, Dempsey fabrication, basically. So I said, Hey man, so I need a roll cage, but then I also need suspension. Can you help me out? So he basically looked at it and he's like, I thought you were going to bring me a truck. And I was like, no, it's a Corolla. <laughs> so, so that took a while. And it was like during the pandemic and I had to like find material basically to do it. And so 
we, this whole cage, it's per rally spec is what they told me, it's DOM. And uh, what they did was they tied in the roof rack itself. So this is all tied in and there's a subframe. It goes all the way down here. And that subframe ties to the rear axle to make it a four link. So yeah. are the sliders tied into the cage no. as well? That this is different. Yeah, this is separate. So that that's also custom. We just cut it up, you know, literally in our garage and, and welded it all together. But yeah, so this is the subframe that we needed to make it a four link um, with the rear axle um, and to give it that travel really. It's like a little baby pre-runner, if you will. <laughs> yeah, he had a hell of a time. It took us about probably almost a year just to do that. Um, and like, so there is, so underneath this, you'll, there's like aluminum sheet here that basically if there was anything that happened in my rear axle, I could go into it and just work off of it. But yeah, you'll see the four links and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's pretty gnarly the way we did it. Um, then on top of that, we called up PRP and asked for like a custom seat with the 4.3 harness, hooked it up. That wasn't too bad. It did take a couple of months. Like I said, mind you, this was during the pandemic and then Everything else from the dashboard, I just kind of kept um, like from the 1989, you know? And then we changed out uh, the center console though. Uh, just put like aluminum on it just to make it look a little bit more finished, you know? Um, E-brake was, uh, we switched that around cause it was like the all track and then it was the sort of the old Corolla. So we just kind of put it to all the back together and makes that, it makes, it, it works. I mean, a couple of people were telling me like, you don't need an emergency or e-brake. And I was like, uh, I don't know about that because I still want to use it properly because I eventually want to make it street legal, you know? So anyway, the lights itself, uh, we have an aux beam control system for our Pro 6 on top, Flex Area 4s. And then we do have rock lights. Um, we repurpose as a dome light here uh, as well as, oh, the ch uh, we made a chase light with the magnetic mounts for, with a cyclone. Super cool. Yeah. Who are you using for communications? Uh, rugged radios. So I did ask him, I was like, cause depending on what, if I, if I run an Nora, I'm going to need the race radios. But if I just go like, you know, off a regular trip, GM, GMRS, right. And then, oh, I do have a heightened uh, Stinger off-road display unit. Uh, and it's eventually, I need to upgrade that too. As far as uh, the speakers itself, I will have speakers and there's going to be cameras where the rock lights are and some other stuff. So. There's gonna be more additional stuff that I need because at the end of the day, this is gonna be a functional vehicle that I actually want to take on adventures, you know? So if you were gonna advise someone on how to do something like this, building something like this, what would be your advice to them? So as much as it sounds boring and scientific, like I highly recommend that you do your research, triple check what you're doing because it's exactly what I did. Um, you know, look at the measurements, look at the geometry, look at like all the engine work that potentially you need to do or anything that's going to potentially be a hiccup. Um, like I said, the original all wheel drive conversion, I thought was going to be 30 days, but it ran, uh, basically ran to like 90 days. Right. Um, which is still not too bad, but you know, given the pandemic, but still like I, you know, triple checked everything, uh, before we went into it. Cause I was like, this is going to be a huge investment. You know, it is out of my pocket. And fortunately there are other sponsors that was on there, but still do your homework and then get it done. And you'll, you know, be happy. It took, it took me about a year and a half. So that's what I recommend. Do it once and do it right. That's right. All right, Yoda Force. That was it for my rig walk around. See you on the next one.